So hello everyone, and this is Nagis back again for Stand VFX, and today I'm here with the uh, After Effects tutorial. Uh, let's have a look what we are going to create. So this is what I came up with. This is uh, I don't know what to call, but let's just have a look. So this is something abstract, of course, and uh, well, this is created inside, uh, totally inside After Effects, of course, and using trapcode mirror so you will need trapcode mirror for this and uh, yep only a trapcode mirror nothing else looks well that is not necessary but I guess I didn't use that either well <laughs> it's just uh, I just named it I didn't use it okay so what uh, what else yeah we you need something like a like this texture uh, it's a, just a Google image, so Google it, and let's just get started. New project, new comp of course, and make it a 280 by 720 comp. Create a new solid, name it BG. Create a new solid again. <laughs> name it Mirror, and apply Mirror on that. And let's apply ramp on that. On the BG my background layer, so let's just sort of for th this one for a while. Swap colors, of course, and let's bring this a bit down. And radial ramp, and then scatter something like that, and like a vignette, you know. Let's just make it like this. We will not be using this one later on, but just for now. Okay, and create a new light. Let's make it point light and something like 30. And let's just duplicate that and bring it somewhere here. Let's bring this one a bit there. Actually, let's reset this mirror and so that we have this box so we can work our way from the very basic and blend mode to normal or off and depth buffer on, of course. So now, since you have watched the video, uh, what's there in that video is like it starts from. Let's just bring the thing. Mm, let me show you. I guess that is it. Yep. So what it's uh, how it is like is it starts from nothing, and you can see a sphere, some uh, like a sphere, and then it increases, and then well then it comes back to the same position just rotating so what we will do now is keyframe the size size x and y and amplitude frequency and evolution uh, because we have like it's very less in the beginning and then it increase the amplitude increases and then will st stays for a while and then goes back so let's just try that So we have this thing. Let's bring up the keyframes we just added, and let's send it all to zero, and go to somewhere like three seconds. Let's make it exact three seconds. Not not necessary, but still. And let's increase the size to 500 by 500. Amplitude maybe 500, and frequency yeah let's all well, let's do 500 for everything. Okay, I guess I'll decrease this. And maybe even evolution like just 100 or something and let's copy these keyframes again which are all zero Control C and go to the like this is three seconds so again three seconds from there and Control V paste and so everything is in zero so let's have a look first uh, where we are so what it's doing is like it's bringing up uh, it's the solid is there and then it's uh, well, it's having an animation and then it's going back to again to nothing. So That's the basic of it uh, One thing I notice is we have to add this rotation first first thing to notice and then let's make it 360 I Guess this is in degrees though. It doesn't have that angle control Should be in degrees 360 degrees so we have this rotating thing now looks good 
sorry uh, now another thing is uh, like it starts as a um, box or I mean it starts at it starts as a square so what I did is just, just give it a bend minus 3 by minus 3 and bend X bend Y and let's go to keyframes bring it up there and if you see now like see uh, if it's in bend like minus 3 it is just collapsed uh, you know I mean it had uh, like in particular we have velocity to spread it out and uh, similarly I would say that in mirror like when we have bent and then even if we increase amplitude uh, because of the bend it just goes on you know I mean it doesn't spread out so we need to release it a bit so not whole much let's go it to like minus one by minus one yeah maybe looks good and copy this keyframe and just mirror it into the other half control c, control c control v so something like that and let's have a look again so it looks <laughs> funny for now so at least we have that uh, sphere thing at the start and the end so now for the spiky things uh, this default uh, fractal doesn't work so we have to use our own fractal or our own amplitude map so let's just create a square comp and give it a solid and apply a fractal noise maybe and let's bring this complexity to is one and transform uh, sorry let's just do it first block and so that we have like this something like that and let's bring this scale down and mm, what else let's give it a evolution so time times 20 something by the way you should click alt click to bring this one so we have something like yeah something like that now let's go to comp and bring our let's call it I mean let's name it amp map and let's call it main let's bring the amp map or amplitude map back there and in the mirror on the fractal let's apply that so now we have something that looks a bit near to what we saw in the preview so this is it now for the look that we had I just did uh, what I did was just increase the step size to by 5 by 5 and what we will have is like this uh, spiky things and maybe increase this a bit more like 500 by 500 and now we have this animation now of course uh, it looks very funny because uh, it's just not very smooth see so we need to work that out so let's first thing evolution let's like bring it to the end you know from 0 to 100 in 6 second time and this frequency we can just let's select everything and keyframe assistant easy is the shortcut is F9 but uh, I mean I can't use just because I'm recording and go to the graph and maybe like increase a bit so so that it's a, it's a b bit smooth on the dropping or oh, whatever <laughs> so another thing is like amplitude also you can control C control V and bring this somewhere like that maybe like that you know just like mirror the thing on the both halves and maybe do a F9 or easy is on everything and again on the size let's copy this one control V and let's bring these keyframes and also easy is everything 
So let's see where we are now. So I think it looks good, right? For me it looks... Yeah, it's good. You can play on forever. So this is the basic thing. So you got the technique. And uh, let's work on getting the looks. On the project we... Let's bring our texture and let's bring it to the background just don't I mean let's use that one as a background and uh, one thing again is like have the shadow trap code mirror just duplicate this thing and make it a 3d layer well it should give a warning but um, I was just doing it just before so it didn't give a warning but you'll get a warning because it's a 3d plugin or I don't know what to call it well it's already inbuilt 3d in uh, the plugin itself is in 3d space and when you create the layer 3d it just uh, projects the whole 3d thing into one layer so wow I don't know how to explain that I should <laughs> okay let's just move on I'll show you in a bit let me show you actually since I <laughs> talked about that so let's go to active camera custom view so let's see what I mean see I mean it's a flat thing so what it is doing is like projecting whatever it is there and projecting uh, projecting it into a just a flat layer so we can use it for our shadow so let's name it shadow and position let's just reset the position go to active view and one thing more is yeah I did accept lights off so that well we are using it for a shadow so we want control a bit of control and give it a rotation 90 degrees position V to bring that down and also actually you can bring the mirror layer the whole thing down a bit and then give it a fill give the fill in the shadow give it make it black and also you can do is fast blur you can decrease this and make it uh, blend mode to multiply so that yeah it does so that it blends <laughs> and let's have one last thing is to color this thing and it's very easy just duplicate this thing make name it color map maybe or texture and then duplicate uh, sorry double click that thing and just apply that texture to our color map and bring this color map now color map let's bring this down and use it in our texture material texture to the color map it's a bit dark so we can do is either increase this or even maybe like bring up new light maybe ambient light decrease it like 10 so that's good so that's it see well one thing for well I'll just let's see first let's first see the preview and then I'll talk what I'm noticing is that the background is not uh, I mean it looks very flat so so let's see for me it looks good so if you don't like the first uh, you know this this part and the ending part a bit just you can keyframe this uh, transparency opacity so, uh, one thing I was noticing was that this texture it needs a bit of like uh, what I used was Bezier warp so that what we can do is give it a bit of 3d 3d look you know something like this so that maybe it looks like it's a curved wall or something uh, so let's have a look 
Yeah, it looks good. Right? Yeah, looks good. Uh, also, one thing you can do very easily to make it look good is add the repeater, maybe like two or maybe even three, and then give it a version, maybe Z, something like, okay, 45, let's say. And let's have a look again. What you, it will give you is understand this. Okay, it looks good, better than the preview I had. So that is it. And of course you can do all other things like color correction and blurring. Well, let, let's just do that. This time I don't want to finish it like saying, yeah, you do it. Let's just do it uh, together. Fast blur and increase it to 10 maybe. And let's see where it is. And subtract, of course. Give it a mask and subtract. And feather. Feather, of course, like maybe much more. And again, one. Maybe adjustment layer. Maybe curves. To maybe add a bit of readiness. Or a purple thing in the shadows. Or even lighten that up or give a contrast curve. Oh, that's a bit too much. Maybe, yeah. So let's have a look how it looks. So this is it. The tutorial is almost done. And I don't know what to call it, just an abstract design with trap code mirror. And uh, let me know uh, what you think about it. You know, one thing I just noticed was that the shadows also need to be uh, have that repeater. Uh, though I don't think much many people will notice, but it's, it's a good thing to add. So this is it. And if you have any questions, just head into our uh, Facebook page, or even YouTube page, or even website, uh, and yeah, post it there ask questions and even request or anything and I also have my own uh, Vimeo channel for I mean where I post my stuffs so you can check that out Sand VFX we also have great 3D models so that's yep that's it for today hope you like it and goodbye